Hello, welcome to your first Lua Roblox lesson. And in this lesson, we're basically just going to be playing around with what happens when you touch this brick. Alright, so you notice I've already got set up. Um, basically, to get set up, you go to free models, type base plate, click search, and then drag on any one of these little base plates here. And that's the screen thing here. The really big thing. Then go to game objects, get this grey thing, drag it on, that's the spawn point. And then for our brick that actually happened the, the stuff happens when you touch it, just drag one of these on. I've chosen this one here. Then we click on the brick so we can refer to it in the code. It'll be called part, uh, but just change its name here in the properties panel to brick, as I already have. Okay, so basically we should have a spawn point, a base plate, a brick, and the brick should be called brick. Okay, next we need to insert a script. So go to insert, object, script, and just hit OK. I've already inserted mine, so I'm going to click cancel, but you click OK. Make sure it's exactly here in the Workspace Explorer. So it's just below Workspace. It's not like hidden in brick or anything like that. We want it here. And then just double click on it to edit it. Alright, so this is pretty much the code we'll be using for today. So, we're making a new variable called brick, and we're setting it equal to game.workspace.brick, which is basically the brick we planted in here. It looks in the game, and then it looks on the workspace inside the game, which if you noticed, if we looked in the brick's properties, it said parent workspace, so we definitely know it's in workspace. So game.workspace.brick, because we called it brick, and now... Because we've set this variable here, called brick with a small b, we can now refer to it instead of typing game that works based on brick every time. So we got brick dot touched. So when it's touched, basically call this on touch function. And here it is up here. What we're going to do is we're going to set the transparency to one of the brick, which is invisible. We're then going to weight one, and we're then going to set the brick transparency to zero, which is normal. So basically it's just going to have a kind of a little flicker type thing. So I'm going to save this. I'm not sure if it actually saves. I just press Control S. It might auto save. Uh, we're going to just go Tools, Test, Play Solo to test it out. And here it is coming up now. We can see our person. We can see our brick. Let's wait for it to all load. Okay, let's just walk onto the base plate. Just walk into the brick. Oh, where's it gone? There it is. Where's it gone? There it is. Let's walk into it again. Oh. Where's it gone? There it is. And that's basically the effect here. Uh, the next thing we're going to try is also with the whole on-touch thing. That's basically going to be the whole of this lesson. Uh, but we're just going to remove the on-touch code here. And we're going to make it kill the player now. So we're going to go game dot workspace dot player dot humanoid dot health Make sure you spell health right. Equals zero. So basically, it looks in game, workspace inside game, player inside workspace, humanoid inside player, and then health inside humanoid. Basically, your player's health and sets it to zero, so it's going to kill you. Let's just go back to place four. Tools, test, play solo. It's just loading up. Okay, here's our person. Here's our base plate. Here's our spawn point, and here's our brick. Let's just go up to our brick. Boom, they're dead. I'm going to mute that, that's kind of annoying me. Uh, oh, why didn't it mute? Oh, I need to mute it. There we go. Right, yeah, we got this person, and once again, boom, they're dead. And that's pretty much this lesson over with. Uh, play about with um, on touch functions with bricks and maybe other objects. Um, it's all great fun, and. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Have a nice day.